Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Shomuz Bharaji. In this video, I am going to clear one doubt for all of you. And the doubt is the difference between uh, totipotent, pluripotent and multipotent. Okay. In terms of potency, in terms of number and kind of cell, uh, stem cell can generate or uh, something uh, related to that stem cell can generate. Do they have totipotency, they have pluripotency or they have multipotency? What is the difference among these three terms? here is for you do not forget this because be it cell biology molecular biology biochemistry microbiology biotechnology background zoology background this is going to be helpful for all the different backgrounds starting with uh, like i'll have properties then we have the differences between all these three kinds so starting with the very first thing even if you don't know anything else just know this that the totipotent cell can differentiate into any kind of cell type be it uh, uh, embryonic uh, tissue be it extra embryonic tissues obviously a totipotent cell can give rise to an embryo it can give rise to a cell which is extra outsider of the embryo that is placenta inside of placenta the embryo lives in a, in case of mammals in case of humans let's say uh, our embryo is present inside of the placenta so extra embryonic tissue is placenta so totipotent cell can give rise to both embryonic tissue as well as extra embryonic tissue but pluripotent cell can produce any cell type but the extra embryonic tissue pluripotent cell can never produce extra embryonic tissue it can only produce any kind of cell any type of cell of embryonic tissue got it that's the major difference between toti and pluri now comes the multipotent multipotent uh, in terms of potency is very less where a multipotent cell can give rise to various kind of cell from a single organ system for example digestive system there are different uh, type of tissues in the digestive system different kinds of cell in that digestive system the goblet cell is different the epithel the, the the endothelial cells are different that are present in the uh, gastrointestinal lining the epithelial cells are different so different kinds of cells are present so these different types of cells of all belonging to digestive tract can be produced by one uh, lineage of the cell that is a multipotent kind of cell producing many kind of cells from a same tissue or organ system that is multipotent so we have totipotent maximum potency then pluripotent little lesser than multipotent so tpm that's how you need to remember tpm remember that okay tpm uh, without that uh, you cannot remember that. So remember this in your brain like this. The next one is regarding the occurrence. Where do we find them? In totipotent, like totipotent cell means we always find totipotent cells in zygote, in fertilized eggs, right? That is the place where the totipotent cell is always there, in the zygote, in the fertilized egg. The very early stage of embryonic cell development is the place. In fact, the earliest stage is the place where totipotent cells are found. Then sooner it will become pluripotent. So pluripotent cells are found in inner cell mass of the blastocyst and uh, there are two kinds of cells they are derived from. One is the embryonic stem cells, ESCs, or induced pluripotent stem cells, IPSCs. Okay, embryonic stem cells and induced pluripotent stem cells. Where multipotent uh, cells are found in various adult tissues and organs throughout of the lifespan. Both totipotent and pluripotent type of cells are found during the early part of organ dev organ uh, like organism development. Okay, development of the embryo. But multipotent cells are found throughout our lifespan. Examples, obviously, totipotent cell examples, zygote, early embryonic cells are the totipotent cells. They can give rise to embryonic tissue as well as extra embryonic tissue. Pluripotent cells, example embryonic stem cells and induced pluripotent stem cells, IPSCs and ESCs, both are there. Multipotent cell, stem cells, example hematopoietic stem cells, give rise to all the type of cells of our blood and circulatory system. And we know red blood cells, platelets, uh, lymphocytes, all are produced from the same lineage of the cells. Right? That is a multipotent cell. Hematopoietic. Hematopoietic stem cells are the examples of multipotent stem cells, HSC, multipotent stem cells. And you also have mesenchymal stem cells or MSCs. HSCs and MSCs are example of this multipotent cell type. Next is extra embryonic tissue. Can these three different kind of cells produce extra embryonic tissue? The answer is that totipotent cells can give rise to both embryonic as well as extra embryonic tissue. But both pluripotent as well as multipotent cannot produce extra embryonic tissue. 
Developmental stage, I told you totipotent stem cells are found at the earliest stages of the embryonic development. Pluripotent cells are found at the early stage. Generally, they are uh, part of the inner cell mass of the blastocyst and they are found in the early embryonic development phases. Multipotent, however, found in various adult tissues and organ throughout life. Last things, clinical applications. Totipotent cells limited clinical use due to ethical concerns. That is the embryonic stem cells, embryonic stem cells and utilization of embryonic stem cells. Uh, the clinical application is the limited uh, use due to that ethical concern. Pluripotent stem, cell, stem cells on the other hand can be utilized in regenerative medicines and disease modeling. Particularly the induced pluripotent stem cells are the ones that are utilized because when you try to work with totipotent stem cells there are so much ethical issues it's not allowed to use that. So the closest to that that we get is induced pluripotent stem cells iPSCs that's what we can work with for regenerative medicine as well as for the disease modeling multipotent stem cells used for tissue repair studies regeneration and various medical applications out there because they are basically our body tissues animal cell culture mammalian cell culture are done with multipotent stem cells uh, so not the totipotent or pluripotent so the crucial difference you already know Totipotent is the highest potency, then pluripotent, then multipotent. T, P, M. Okay. Uh, the easy uh, way to remember that is tire pressure monitoring system. Nowadays, this is something that is present in cars as well as in two wheelers. TPMS is known. Tire pressure monitoring system. So, the easiest way to remember with a mnemonic is tire pressure monitoring TPM. Tire pressure monitoring system. So, totipotency, pluripotency, multipotency. Okay. That's how we can easily remember that. Okay. Let me write tire, tire, pressure, monitoring. Totipotent, pluripotent, multipotent. That's it. So, I believe you have a clear idea now. You should never ever confuse totipotent, pluripotent and multipotent now ever again in your life. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and subscribe to get more videos like that in the future. Thank you. Bye.